Hello brothers and sisters, how are you today? Got a great message from the universal God as always. My message is always, I need you to be in your spirit out of the flesh. Because my messages come from the universal God. And he gives me the knowledge to give to you. I'm just a vessel. He could have chose, he chose a lot of people, but I'm one of them that he chose to deliver this message. Got great food for you. Today's topic, the big illusion, abundance, age of Aquarius, law of attraction. If you can today read, uh, I'm going to read it for you. Revelations 21 8. Remember, we are in revealing. 2020 was the awakening. We were in unconscious state, many of us. And then we finally awoken and started awakening. It was like, what has happened? <laughs> that was an awakening. And 2021 is the revealing. So I give you the book of Revelations 21 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable, abominable, the murderers, the whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in which burns with the fire brimstone, which is the second death. So in other words, when you put something in fire, it will become nothing. That's what's going to happen to all the people who's deceived us. So once again, lying, fearful, which is, uh, you know, not being faithful. All of that is not acceptable to God because it's not of God. But the uh, big illusion teaches everything opposite of God. So what a magician does, a magician can't work unless he fools you. So your whole time on earth, you've been fooled. You get fooled through the media news because they don't show you all news. They only show you what they want to show you. You also get shown, you get, there's so many false idols out there that we used to follow so your answer to what's going on now is very simple. Stop following the world and create your own story. You simply say, remember I told you in the big, most people still, and I'm hearing truth movement doing, still looking for a man to save them. Military, Donald Trump, Joe Biden, Truth movements themselves. So. Many of your truth movements. Still looking for someone to save them. But uh, your answer is yourself. You just say God I want to no longer be a slave. I no longer consent to what's going on and you're free. And then you leave everything and start to create your own story. It's that simple. Life is not simple. You, it's, it's, life is not difficult. It's difficult because you say it's difficult. Everything is your thoughts and your belief. Your hero the whole time has been God. That's your hero. That's that's who you that's who's gonna save us. As as I did a couple videos ago, all through the old testament, who delivered the people? It wasn't Moses, Moses through God. I give you these stories through God. I'm gonna give you some things going on in the news before before that way I can get this out the way. Nicole Simpson and Megan Kelly. Now, this is just a theory, but open your mind. I drop you crumbs. I ask you to do research. I really ask you to really think in your spirit. 
Megan Kelly, Nicole Brown Simpson. Put them side by side and look at them. I'm telling you to open your mind. As we know, the murders of O.J. Simpson, because I was fooled, was in Hollywood. O.J. Simpson was an actor. Media was so involved because it was race. It was, it was a black man and white woman. Let's go to your father, God. Does he talk about colors? There is no racism. Everything is your thoughts and your belief. Has, ha, how many times have you been racially, anything race-based has, has happened to you? I could count on my, it's been, it's been, I got five fingers. Less than that, I, something racially has happened to me and I'm 49 years old. It is no racism. So let me give you the illusion how it works. There, you have a story. There's characters in your story that deliberately come in your path to get you out of your spirit and into your flesh. How you perceive it is the answer. Because life is, it, life is learning. It's your story. You keep going to the world story. See the illusion? Everything is your story. So what happens with the world, you'll keep getting the same thing repeat until you get the answer. If you don't get it this time, you're going to come back and redo it again. You're here this time to learn lessons and then you leave. It's a mission. Also, Donald Trump, I'm going to give you, I know you may not like him, but he said he went in a battle with Megyn Kelly. Remember that? And he said it was blood everywhere. Go back to the pictures of the murder scene. Blood it. Donald Trump came from Hollywood. So, God uses characters to help us with, with uh, our ascending to the next dimension. So Donald Trump, whether you like him or not, he helped waken a lot of people because they became, what's going on? A lot, of, a lot of people now are doing stock market that never has been done before. Like him or hate him, he's used as a character to wake you up. So what's going on in the news now is to waken you up, to give you the awareness. Whether you participate in that illusion is up to you. Marvin Hagler died in his early 60s, media keeps saying they don't know the cause of the death. The cause of death is the shot in the arm. Do your research. He was healthy until he took the shot on the arm. Then he, after the shot, no, he started getting all these symptoms. He passed away. Great boxing champ, legendary. Cuomo, the... Uh, they want him gone, he's still dead. Another illusion, BLM on the Grammys perform a race uh, uh, act based on the police and the, they're planning a thought in your mind. If they get you to talk about it, how do we create race? I told you what you keep watching, we attract. So that's what they do, they put, they put an image up there and they get the town to talk about it. That's how they get things into the present. That is your consent because you keep, like what I'm doing now, but it's how you perceive it within your heart. You just simply say, God, there is no racism and it's God in your story. Stop thinking of the world. Be selfish to yourself to improve the world. In your story, there is no racism. I mean, someone else's story, there's racism. It's whatever you believe. The big illusion. I don't consent to being a slave no more. You have domain on the earth. You've had it since the first man here. Another thing I see people doing is arguing over the Bible. Oh, I don't believe in the Bible. 
What is life all about? God. All man wrote all books. You can go back to Africa and find writing on the wall. Who put it there? A man. Who cares? It's about God. Stop falling for the elute. Then they get you arguing and then you're divided. I ain't going to him because he deals with the Bible. I do. All man wrote all books. Go within yourself and find and discern the truth for yourself, which is God and you're good. God's way is not our way. They used to tell me that it's only one way to the kingdom of heaven through Jesus. That's what a man wrote in that book for the, for the Bible, which I go by, which is a manual of how you work. But God put many other ways to find him. It's about God, this life. Just like Satan uses many ways to get to him. Awaken, awaken out your unconsciousness. I, the, the Bible talk about that. I ain't gonna believe. So you still went to another source that a man wrote here that was a that was taught per God to awaken. It's God, the source, the creator. There's one. But you say you're God. Because God's within you. If God's in you, you are God, because He's in you. He gave you His power. God made man in His own image. You have not God power, but you have powers of God. He's in you. He's in everything. So you are God, the little G. Let's see. what. Are, oh, they don't talk about on the media, the kids, the kids at the border being sold for $3,200. Don't say no, no, no. Do your research. Whenever it comes to the kids... They never talk about it. Why? Because they are part of it. If you still watch media after what I just told you, go through life, you never hear. Media is a part of it. If I'm a part of something corrupt, I'm not going to tell you about it. Because I'm a part of it. Cuomo through Rumerville was going to be the next person that they was going to try to march up there for president. But he failed and we're woken, so it didn't work. Lucifer's plan didn't work. That's what they do. They put the most, the person they can find that they can buy off with money, and they put them up in front of you. George uh, Bush Sr. was the most corrupt of all the corrupt. How did we get these people from Germany in our government today? George Bush Sr. All your drugs. All the things he said he was, was, was against, he did it. George Bush Sr. was very corrupt. You say, no, do your research. It's there. You still start, I just explained media to you. It's all an illusion, though. Everything is there to try to, to wake you up. We've been trying, God's been trying to wake us up since birth. Oh, let's go to your word cure. Show me in the Bible where it says the word cure. There is no cure. I told you it's heal. H-E-A-L is in your Bible. So God, you're either healed or you're unhealed. There is no healthy. There is no. The cure is yourself with your thought and your belief. Proverbs 23, 7 is the key to the everything. See the illusion? We need to get a cure for this. <laughs> Buy this oil. It will cure you. Once you believe in a cure, you took away the, the, the thought of no sickness. There is no sickness. So what I do for help, for healing, I wake up every day and the sun's not out now. I love the sun. You must get your sun every day for about 30 minutes. I do a intermittent fasting, which helps the body cleanse itself. There is no word as can't, and there is no word I can't do this. You are spirit, not flesh. As you start to eat 
to live and not to die, you can do a lot of things. When you eat the animals of flesh and blood, you start to lose your willpower and you start to do, because you're taking on the thoughts of that animal. Let's see what else I wrote down. I only did this so I won't forget. But anyway, back to this illusion. Also money. Someone joke with me and say, give me your stimulus check. I don't, one thing, I don't joke. They send little smiley faces and all this stuff, but I'm an alpha male. I, I don't do a lot of joking. I be serious. I mean, I'm about the truth. But they can laugh and joke. That's their personality. I don't joke. So if you hear this, I'm telling you now, I don't do a lot of joking. I tell you something because it was... I'm, I'm here to unveil the wicked. Whether you defend it or not, you can't defend videos. It's there. Watch the video. Awaken. Government's not your friend. You're not free. Because one, you don't command your freedom. But back to the thing, the 1400. Someone said, give me. So I tried to tell them how they could be wealthy. If you want to build a house, who do you go to? Do you go to me? No, you go to someone that built a house. If you want to be wealthy, you listen to all the things of the people of the wealthy. Listen to all their stories. I even sent this person a video to get them started. Everything is yourself. If God comes in and gets rid of all the wicked, did you learn? No. There, there is character, so you learn from the story. You awaken. You learn better when you do it yourself. Everything is about you. You've been taught with looking for handouts and someone. Got, that's not how you really work. Freedom is yourself. But if you want wealth, you follow someone wealthy. Like I did. You follow all the stories of the people that's wealthy. Show me your friends. Show, that's your future. Let me repeat that. Show me your friends. That's your future. So if your friends don't have no money, you won't have no money. Birds of, a feather, birds of the same feather flock together. That's why I had to get away. How can I go to the next? So in other words, you're, if you're driving a road, right? And I tell you to find, and uh, you have to keep going the road. You don't stop and go backwards. That's what you're on now. You're on a journey, a mission. You keep moving forward. Are your eyes in back of you? Your eyes are in, in front of you. So you keep looking forward. You got to keep going forward. Trying to save everybody. You're not God. You could tell someone on your journey stories, and say, but you have to keep going. You're holding back yourself. In the end, you'll see them all. However long they take. It's like school. When you graduate from, when you get out of elementary, do you go back to the first grade and try to, no, you already passed those grades. So if you're already on the fourth dimension, why do you keep going back? We're only spirit. Also death. Man put here the illusion of death. There is no death. You're spirit. You never die. People cry. No, you celebrate because they went to the next level of, of their journey. They graduated life. I never, when my mom died, I weep. But then why did it? Because I had to learn death. There is no death. There's going to be death for what I just read you at the beginning of this message in the Revelations. But that's only if you do everything not of God. Money is just an energy that you create with your thought. Money is abundance. You have no money because you think you have no money. You have no money because you keep doing the same thing repeatedly over and over and refuse to change. You have no money because your hand is out and your hand is not 
give if you give there's a law called give and receive did you know that anything you put into the in out it comes back to you in abundance so instead of this do more of try giving if you have a job do you take do you take five dollars a week and put it in the investments Someone told me saving, they're saving. Saving is, banks are .006. That's, that's no money. It now is the future. That's another illusion. Save for the future. The future is now. What you saving for? There is no saving. It's investing. Wealthy people invest. Your money is a seed that grows. Some money will be bad crops, but most of them will be good crops. God likes, and I read it in there. No, nope, it's the faith, people with faith. God works off faith. You have no money because of you. Because you keep listening to govern mind and not yourself. You had the power the whole time. The illusion, the big illusion. You're not abundant because of you. God is abundant, and God made you in his own image. Why are you not? Because of you. Because your thoughts told you, you keep following. I, none of my, I told the person too, none of my family are millionaires. None of them. Because they keep following the same repeat from each other. Their father told them, and they, to be wealthy, who do you follow? Wealthy people. Well, you say money's e no. It says for the love of money. So if I'm if I'm looking for money to harm people or to create ill will, no. But God didn't want you poor. I did. A, if you go to my videos and uh, I did a whole video on people that were rich that God helped. King David, remember him? God helped him kill Goliath to become king. Ruth. Abraham, the father of many, they stop it. Also the first man. He had the whole world because he took it over from Satan. The first man took over the world from Satan. That's why it's the anger with people who follow Satan. So if you have the whole world and you only tell you not to eat a tree, you are abundant. That's how you get instant wealth. You just, especially if you're younger, the younger you start, I started now, 48. Imagine if I had started when I was in my 20s, $5 a week. A, coffee, a cup of coffee, like I told you, is less than $5. We spend money on frivolous things. That's an easy way. Which stocks do you, that's you. You have to go with inside yourself. You have to fill it. These companies making trillions and billions are your friends that you're flipping the money from making billions and trillions. So you go to the people making billions and trillions and you you don't flip. That's that street talk. You invest. Five dollar can turn into thousands over time. Just let it grow. Go six months or five dollars a week and see what happens. Don't touch it. It's a business. So you say, well, I don't, you do have a business. Once you invest in a business, you are a business owner. You're partial business owner. You have no wealth because of yourself. You're sick because of you. And I just told you the healing method. I don't teach you cures. I see truth movement. I'm not, not, but I'm trying to enlighten you. You are spirit, not flesh. So once you walk away from Satan's world of the television and all that falsehood, that's God. You have God with your faith. You get the things you want because that's how God works. He walks. He, you have to move the direction. When I gave up the drug selling at 25 years, I did not know what was behind the door. God doesn't tell you what's behind the door until you give up whatever he told you to give up. And then you go there through your faith. 
Then he opened, because behind the door is not, you're looking up, there's going to be some bad stuff behind the door you got to go through to get where you're going to go. I still get ridiculed from family, but I don't care. Life, as I told you, everything is about nothing. It's only about God. I was like, what? Laughing and joking to me is like, is like, that's like the feminine energy. That's not a masculine energy to me. Real men that I know don't laugh and joke too much. Men that's really doing stuff or that you look up to. A man you look up to, you're not. A man that you look up to. I don't look up to a man that laughs and joke too much. I'm going to look up to a man that's like the dad figure. I'm not your dad, but you, you, it's about a respect. If, if Kevin, if Kevin Hart's a comedian or you had, or you had uh, Denzel Washington, who would, who would you feel more comfortable with, with a intruder breaking in? I'm just giving you an illustration. Would you feel more comfortable with the man that laughs and joke? Would you trust him more? Or would you trust the man that's, that's being, that's trying to tell you the truth, to try to awaken you so you'll do your research? Everything is about yourself. You can be who you are. I'm not telling you, but I'm giving you illustrations. I always give you illustrations. That's what the, I'm not Jesus, but that's what he did. He gave you illustrations. He gave you the truth, but he gave you an illustration so you can, oh, okay, so you, so you can wake up. But life is the big illusion. If you turn on the media every day, that's what your life is going to be. If you turn off the media and you say, I don't consent, and you use your free will, you're out of that world. And you start to create your own world. Look at me. Do, am I, do I have the media on? No, I'm out enjoying nature. You're supposed to be out in nature. You're supposed to be out on your grind, your mission, your purpose. Get you're in the illusion, the magic trick. Colors, they put cup. There are no colors with God. God, everything, every, we all God's children. Go to Asia. Am I a black Asian? So why in America? Because they they divide you. We all we all need each other. Racism is yourself. You're the racist. Because there's no colors in your spirit. That's why they put the illusion of what they want you to see and believe on the TV with the BLM and the, and, and the rapper at the, at the awards. Ceremony. Television program. Program. Computer pro. They program your mind. Everything is your mind, your consciousness. That's the battle. We in revelations, the revealing, all will be revealed. So I drop you crumbs so you, so you search and you expand your mind. People arguing over, over whose God, there's one God. There is no religion. Everything is God. It's not about you. It's not about me. Everything is finding God and self-development so you can go to the next dimension. They teach you grades, first grade, second grade. No, it's dimensions. Dimension is your higher self. You have a higher self on a higher dimension now, but everything is you, which is peace, love, joy, happiness. That's God. Does TV, do you, do you feel peaceful on TV? I do, no, there's no peace on TV. Love, love is not sex. Sex is, sex is for reproducing. Love is loving mankind, loving yourself. If you love yourself, the world changes because that becomes your story. God is love, forgiveness. That's a law, law of forgiveness. You forgive within. Everything is within yourself. You don't have to go to a person to forgive. You just say three times, I forgive Sue. I forgive Sue. 
I forgive Sue. Already done and now and it goes away. That's your story. It's just a test. That person is a test. You don't pass that, you're going to get somebody else with the same because you didn't pass the test. Once you learn that it's like, and in the end, the same person you hated may be up in heaven and they say, man, you played a good game in the life. It's a game, the game of life. The big illusion, magic trick, are you still falling for it? Who got arrested? God's word, what does it say in the end? Don't worry about it. Someone get arrested, how does that improve your life? That's the outside world, getting you off the focus. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. You reap what you sow. They gonna get it. Why do you have to see that? Is that what you're about? Evil? Get out of the evil world and work on your world of love, peace, joy, and happiness. And your world changes. I used to watch the truth. I can't even watch half of it now. Sometimes I have to turn because they go so negative, fearful, and worried. Oh, the market going to crash. Oh, but that's the worry. Live for now. What is it doing now? We live so fearful. Money is energy. Money is only energy. Money is abundance. Everything is abundance. Why do you fear? Someone fearing don't know they don't know the spirit of who they are. You are God. Peace, love, joy, happiness. No fear, no worry. Satan is the opposite of that. Many people still talking from the outward. They won't go inward. Everything, your kingdom is within. Your space force is within yourself. Whatever you don't fear, you don't attract. Whatever you fear, instead of going away, you attract it. Because you keep fearing it. So that's why I keep giving it to you. Because you keep creating it with the thought and the belief. See how I tell a I told you, tell a lie of visions. Listen to that word vision. That's a dream. You're in a illusion. You have to wake up from that world, man. Get out of the world of Satan. And be the world that God created you in, in your spirit. This world is loving and peaceful and kind. I give you these messages out of love because I get my gift that God gives to me by giving you these messages. At this time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off.